Welcome back to What's New. The countdown is on. NBA All-Star Weekend is a little over three weeks away now, but not everyone will have a ticket. Don't we know that? <laughs> that doesn't mean there aren't things for all of us to do. That's right. So Brandon Simmons joins us now from Tower City, which is just one place that's holding some of those extra events outside of the game itself. Hi, Brandon. Yeah, hi, Jay and Betsy. Jay, I can't believe you don't have a ticket, but you know what? I, I don't have a ticket either, but we'll talk about that later. But as you said, you may not be able to get close to the NBA court inside Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, but for everybody else who's looking for something else to do, you head over to Tower City. You can see right behind me, they have the NBA Ice Buckets Half Court Challenge. It's set up right now, ready to go for people to show off their NBA skills. The NBA revealed this NBA Ice Buckets Challenge earlier today. It's a half court set up over top of the fountain inside of Tower City here where fans can participate in a shooting contest, competing for high scores and a chance to win some pretty cool prizes. Now, starting tomorrow, it'll be open to fans every weekend through All-Star Weekend. And then uh, the Tower City space will also be used in other cool ways, too, throughout the weekends. Now, on Saturday, February 19th, that's going to be another big day. The annual Real Black Friday event will take place in this same space as well, featuring over 100 Black-owned small businesses, giving them exposure that they really, really need as we all still try to recover from the pandemic. I would say these businesses are excited just to come together, you know, during a pandemic where they've struggled to survive. So for me, it's about just drilling down in it and really working with them to bring awareness, um, to let people know that they're still there. Now, also inside, we've told you about some of the pop-up shops they have set up, like The Land by Complex. And that's also here working to feature some of our local brands here inside Tower City throughout these weekends as we head up to All-Star Weekend. And it's really a great opportunity, again, for exposure. And with any luck, some of these local brands will get a chance to take off because with so many stars in town, you really just never know what's going to happen. Now, those are just some of the things that are going on around town. Obviously, we know for All-Star Weekend, organizers have told us there will be as many as 400 different events going on all over Northeast Ohio. So there will be plenty to do, plenty of things to do. Obviously, plenty of chances for Cleveland to be in the spotlight. And hopefully we'll all be having a lot of fun, Jay and Betsy. So I'm exciting. Down. Yeah, Betsy, while we were watching your report, Brandon, Betsy said, we should go over there and play horse. And I said, <laughs> you won't sparkles. have to twist my arm. He had sparkles in his eyes, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> sparkles. Here, here's the thing. I'm going to make a phone call. This would be the best throwdown Thursday yet. I'm telling oh. you. But I, let me make some calls and see what I could do. Brandon, <laughs> I know you're the man for the job. Now that he's on the case, I think this will ha probably happen. I think it definitely could happen. And can I just say, I really wish the jerseys had this logo on it. it me it's too. the same logo that you have there in the background, the Cleveland 22, Brandon, with the star and Tower City. I know That's you were disappointed the with we the want. other ones. Oh, the other ones just stink. Yeah, they're not good. <laughs> they're not good. But hopefully they heard Betsy's complaint and they'll add a patch on there. That'd be Something. a perfect patch to it's put on awesome. there. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, one. Brandon, have fun out there. Thanks, man. Appreciate it.